Hi everybody, Chris AMS, hope you're all well. Uh, just a quick video, today I'm working on a Renault Twingo. Um, 900cc engine in a 2015 vehicle. Uh, as you can see, it sits in the boot on this one. Um, the customer's complaint was uh, the engine management light was on, the, the vehicle run rough while driving it, um, and the exhaust really stank. Like that cat, horrible catty, eggy smell kind of thing coming out of the exhaust. Um, unfortunately for this customer, they've been to two other garages already. One, a, a well-known auto centre. Uh, the second one, the main dealer. Uh, the, the auto centre replaced uh, all three coil packs and spark plugs. Uh, and that came back with a bill of 650 quid. Didn't fix the problem. So they took the customer took the vehicle to uh, the main dealer who suggested it needed a sensor uh, and if it didn't need the sensor so they didn't they guessed at the sensor they said it's either a sensor or it's a catalytic converter so they put a sensor on it the sensor didn't fix the problem so they said you need a new cat a uh, new cat was priced at about 1500 pounds um, so luckily for them they pulled the pulled it out of there at that point and uh, they found me um, and I've taken a look at it uh, I've plugged it into the gas analyzer and I can see that the emissions are actually through the roof. Um, you can see by looking at the readings on the emissions machine that the, it is drastically over fueling. Um, uh, yeah, pumping too much fuel in, not enough air. An engine runs on a very specific air to fuel mix. Um, so the difference. I'd like to say the difference between me and, and some other garages uh, or you know, technicians is that I test, I don't guess, okay? Uh, some people just plug vehicles in, read the fault code, change the bit. I always like to prove as, as best as humanly possible whether that fault rely, lies with you know, a particular component and prove that that component's the problem and it's not wiring or anything else kind of thing. Um, so what I've actually found on this vehicle is the vehicle has two oxygen sensors. This one down here is what we class as a wideband oxygen sensor. Um, sits down, down the side down here kind of thing. So, and this is where it confuses some people I think is the fact that the lower oxygen sensor or the downstream sensor, which is this one, um, which has already, already been replaced. Um, which didn't fix the issue. I think that might have been the main dealer replacement. Um, hasn't fixed the problem. So by testing, you know, you can see obviously you've got the, the lab scope and stuff out and, and been doing some testing. Um, I've proved that the sensor, or as best as you can, you can never hunt be 100% unless you actually replace it in some cases. But um, you can prove it within, you know, uh, a very good margin that, that that's the fault so i've replaced this sensor which like say runs uh into the side of the uh just above the catalytic converter and controls emissions so what what had happened is the sensor has got stuck on a lean um lean mode so it, it thinks that there's too much air running through the engine so what it's told the engine management system to do is to pump lots of fuel through so our injectors which are up here and then opening for longer and then pumping more fuel into the engine which is then causing it to run badly and it is overwhelming the catalytic converter and it can't clean the gases uh, coming out the back of it so that's why the smell um, so i've replaced the sensor uh, i've given it a road test and it, it drives a lot better than it did previously it doesn't misfire or or hunt or, or run rough uh, i've put it on the emissions machine again since you know uh, subsequent to the repair and the emissions are within the MOT spec. They're all yeah, very low and in the green. Uh, again, what that also does is prove that it never needed a catalytic converter. And the vehicle, if they continued, unfortunately, it would have had a 1500 pound catalytic converter replacement and it would still have the same problem. So, you know, there's, a, there's two, grand, two and a half grand's worth of repairs kind of thing and, and still not a fixed problem. Um, cars are one of the, the most complex vehicle you know systems you know on the on the planet at the moment kind of thing 
they're, they're, they evolve very fast. You think about a car that is 10 years old to, to something that is new on the road today. They are drastically different in the way they operate. Um, as technology moves on, you know, innovation moves on, the technician has to keep up with that um, through tools and, and training kind of thing. I've just recently finished a, a master tech qualification uh, with technical topics down in Somerset, um, which was very informative. Uh, it taught me a lot, a lot on electric vehicles, for example, which is the new, new thing coming out. So I've done a, a level four uh, electric vehicle and hybrid course, ADAS, which is advanced driver assist systems. So all your lane assist or your automated braking, uh, cars that park themselves, all that kind of thing is covered up under uh, ADAS qualification. Um, and there's also a, a level of assessment that is required in order to become a master tech. So they give you vehicles and they test your knowledge and your the way that you go about things kind of thing. So thankfully, like let's say, um, went through uh, two days worth of assessment. That's just not necessary. Went through two days of um, assessment and, uh, and, and passed out as a qualified master technician, uh, which, you know, very few technicians reach the grade of kind of thing, which I'm, I'm quite, quite pleased and happy with. So, you know, through investing in tools and investing in training, and hopefully that makes me a better technician. And you know, if you need your car fixed, then please give me a shout, kind of thing. Um, I hope you found this video informative, or you know, you liked it. You know, if you've seen it on YouTube, then uh, give the give the page a, a like or a subscribe and the video a like, kind of thing. Um, seeing it on Facebook, you know, give us a like and a share. That that always helps me. Uh, that's much appreciated. But um, have a good day. Take care.